Now we all know our favorite celebrities do some pretty outrageous things sometimes and sometimes it leaves us thinking, is this real and did it actually just happen? Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities that got jail sentences they deserved. At number 10 we have Jacob Hoggard. Jacob from Headley was recently just sentenced for 5 years for grievous bodily harm against a woman from Ottawa, Ontario. Back in 2016, Toronto police arrested the star and confirmed the SC unit had launched an investigation against the pop star. In a a report done by the crime unit, it said Jacob will commit a number of different crimes towards the female in a Toronto hotel room, and another Toronto woman would also come forward to say the same thing happened to her. In addition to the two unnamed women, Taylor Bowman, a former Headley fan, said she was touched inappropriately by the star outside of a bar in Manitoba back in 2015. Since Taylor has gone public with her story, she says about 60 more women have also reached out to her explain that they went through the same experience. Jacob will now be added to an offender registry list and is not to have any contact with his victims anymore. At number 9 we have Felicity Huffman. Now Felicity Huffman pleaded guilty to paying a college admission consultant $15,000 to have her daughter's answers changed after she took the SAT test, so that her daughter could get into a prestigious university. Huffman had to serve 11 days out of her 14 day sentence. Felicity is among 15 parents who pleaded guilty to the scheme which resulted in dozens of parents being accused of paying bribes to cheat on college entrance exams to get their children into elite schools as fake athletic recruits. With many of these parents being celebrities, there's been a lot of outrage from people, especially from the students who worked really hard to get into these schools. We teach our kids that cheating is wrong, but when money is involved, it's suddenly okay. Now a lot of the students who had parents involved in this scandal have stated they had no idea that their parents were doing this, however they had to know when they were taking photos for the sports teams that they didn't know how to play the sport. So what do you think about this incident and let me know in the comments below. At number 8 we have Mark Wahlberg. Now Mark Wahlberg spent 45 days in prison because he assaulted a Vietnamese shopkeeper and used racial slurs against him back in 1988. In the incident it is said that Mark was under the influence of a powerful substance and during his sentence the actor took the time to reflect on the issue by saying he's always been in trouble and that he's always been a little a-hole growing up, especially in circumstances where he felt like he was being preyed upon. Being only 16 years old when the accident occurred, the actor also noted it wasn't an easy thing navigating through life as a 5 foot 2, 120 pound teenager and having to protect yourself from grown men. Mark said that being in jail definitely changed his perspective of life and it pushed him to do better. While violence is never the answer, but at least he was able to own up to his actions, reflect on his past, and it helped him grow into the man he is today. Are you liking this video so far? If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. At number 7, we have OJ Simpson. Do you guys remember how outraged people were in OJ Simpson's trial when Robert Kardashian said if the glove does not fit we must acquit? Well, knowing what we know today, OJ was definitely guilty of the crimes he was accused of. Now even though OJ was not found guilty for the first trial, OJ would later serve 9 years in prison following an armed robbery conviction in Las Vegas. After the actor was acquitted in California for the passing of his wife and her friend, and another trial held a decade later, OJ would be sentenced to prison for leading five men with weapons with two sports collectible dealers in a Las Vegas hotel. OJ would then later insist he was only trying to retrieve some of his personal belongings following his acquittal in a previous conviction. In 1977, OJ would finally be liable for the passing of his wife and her friend and the courts would order him to pay his victim's family $33 million. OJ would later be released from prison in 2017 and resides in a gated community in Las Vegas. At number 6 we have Robert Downey Jr. Now before Robert Downey Jr. became the actor we all know and love today, he battled some serious demons before becoming Iron Man. Back in 1999, Robert was sentenced to 3 years in prison after numerous incidents involving numerous substance and for his failure to comply with the courts. Back in August of 2000, he was released early after spending about a year behind bars. After being released from prison, Robert did go back to his old ways for a bit, however in 2005, the star would put the past behind him, he would get clean, he even started 
started a family before becoming the amazing actor we know him as today. Now, Robert's story is definitely one a lot of celebrities can relate to because they've gone through similar situations. I'm just glad Robert got clean and he's doing well because he definitely deserves to be where he is today and his story has definitely made other celebrities realize what they're going through and come clean as well. At number 5 we have Tim Allen. Now, for Tim Allen became everybody's favorite Santa Claus. He was actually arrested for controlled substance trafficking in 1978. At the time, Tim was only 25 years old and he pleaded guilty for trying to bring a pound of the substance in his luggage at an airport. Now, Tim has admitted that the stunt has landed him two years in jail and it really screwed up his life. It wasn't easy adjusting to his life behind bars and it took him over eight months to finally realize what happened and to get used to living how he was living. When the star was finally able to get out of prison, he reflected on how grateful he was of his current life and the actor also said that he loves his life, he's not any more mentally stable and he has the same issues he had before, however, now he can't hide from them. Definitely when you're going through something, it's always better to talk about it rather than bottle it up and let the situation get worse. And number four, we have Martha Stewart. So Martha Stewart's known for her crafty planning tips and her delicious recipes. However, her involvement in a 2001 insider trading scandal would ultimately lead to Martha's arrest and a five month prison sentence back in December of 2001. Now the company I'm Clone got itself into a bit of a hot spot when it failed to get FDA approval for a product they were developing. The company's founders would then advise friends and families to sell their stocks so its value would dive. Martha managed to sell 4,000 shares and saved herself $45,000 in the process. However, things wouldn't go unnoticed and the star would be later charged for security frauds, obstruction of justice, and conspiracy. Her case would finally go to trial in 2004 and luckily for the star, she wasn't actually convicted for her crimes. However, she did go down for conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and lying to investigators. Now, inside trading is when an individual buys and sells stocks they have in a company using information that's not available to the public. This business is illegal and it's a serious offense resulting in fines and jail time. So Martha should have just taken her losses and went on with her day. And number three, we have Chris Brown. Chris Brown used to be an artist we all used to love and support. However, in 2009, when images hit tab showing how he treated Rihanna during an altercation the two had, we were left wondering what kind of person Chris Brown really is. Now, Chris was sentenced to 131 days in prison after being kicked out of his court-appointed rehab for violating his probation for physically harming Rihanna after he got into another altercation with a man outside of a hotel in Washington, D.C. back in 2013. Now, the star would then later be released in June of 2014 after serving three weeks of his term. However, in 2020, an unnamed woman would find to sue Chris Brown $20 million after accusing him of ravishment. While a lot of people have come to the star's side to claim that these claims are untrue, Chris does tend to have a history of violence that we have to take into consideration. At number two, we have Lauren Hill. Now, Lauren Hill was sentenced to three months in prison and an additional three months in home confinement for failing to pay taxes for her $1 million in earnings. During a statement, Lauren would explain that she always meant to pay her taxes eventually. However, at the time, she was unable to because she dropped out of the music business and she needed to be able to earn so she could pay her taxes so she could care for her family. After the star admitted she missed her deadline to pay taxes on purpose, feeling that she was resisting the system intentionally. The star would then be asked to pay $970,000 to satisfy the state and federal tax liabilities. Luckily, due to the star's good behavior behind the bars, her one year sentence would then be changed to three months in prison and three months under house arrest. At number one, we have have Abby Lee Miller. Now we all know Dance Moms was a hectic crazy show filled with drama. However, did you know Abby Lee Miller spent eight months in prison for bankruptcy fraud? The 56 year old company founder was in prison back in 2017 after being charged with 20 counts of fraud for hiding portions of her income from Dance Mom series. At the same time, the star was also being part of an ongoing bankruptcy case, which legally conflicted with the amount of income she made from the show. Abby would then be found guilty for hiding over $700,000 worth of income 
and would spend 8 months in prison. Addressing her time behind bars, the star has said that she doesn't think people had her back during this tough period in her life and it really made her realize who her friends were. Now, celebrities may get lighter sentences or go to special jails, however, the sentences that most face prove that no one's above the law, so be careful what you do. That's all for today friends, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one.